Hi guys, so I have a question for the restriction mapping question type of question. So it's asking you that you need to sub clone from this H2 from this plasmid a specific portion of this gene into this another vector you have PS41 and you don't want to use PCR. After enzymes shown in the maps, I'll give you sticky ends, that is, they do not give you the blunt ends, except this NEAE1 equal RV, SKA1, SMA1, that gives you the blunt ends. So whenever they cut, they cut like this, All right? So they cut like this, leaving us the blunt ends, All right? So we have a blunt end here. Whereas, um, for example, the sticky ends would give you give something like that, right? So, okay, so it'll give you something like that. They stick stick together. Now, and um, so it is asking you that let me make it better. Okay, this is the sticky ends. This is the blunt. Okay. Cool. So you get an idea here. This, those give you this type of ending. These give you different things. Okay. Now, it's asking you that your demonstrator has sent the mislabeled plasmids in the past. That wasn't this. So this time you want to ensure that the plasmid you have, you want to check whether that plasmid is this specific pH two KD. So how would you? Test for this high confidence that you are dealing with PH2 kit. So I would do mini preps, mini prep analysis. So meaning I would cut this plasmid with a specific and restriction and the nucleus enzyme. By using those kind of enzymes, they would give me the specific fragments, and I use that fragments, read that from gel electrophoresis. Based upon the fragment size I'm observing from this theoretical fragment size, I would compare and if they match, then that's a tick, okay? So, so the question here is asking you which enzyme are you going to use to give you the best quality of the answer? I put my mouse there. So, well, let's have a look. So you want to find, you want to find the specific enzymes that give you two two fragments, two sides, because if you have a two sides, this means that you'll have a fragment size, a unique fragment size. If it's only one side, I don't know, say if it's like this one for only, there is no left. So if you just research endonucleus with this one, it gives you single linear size of the plasma, but you don't want that. So you want to find the ends of the two sides. So let's, let's look. We, for example, let's start with, um, in three, in three, see, there is one in three there, there is one in three there. So the first one would be, I'm gonna write in three, yeah? Next one, let's see, so in three tick, let's go with KPL one, KPL one, see, there is another one there. There you go. So there's two subs again. We're gonna use that. So that would be K P N one. Okay, tick. Let's see BAMH one. BAMH one. No, so that's not good. N A E one, it gives you blunt and so you don't want that, right? And there's by the way there's not a sauce, so you know. Um we already done that. Let's T B G triple. So B G triple. There you go, so two, you're gonna say BG triple, okay? Tick, eco RV, eco RV, two sides, okay? Eco RV, tick, tick. So let's, um, PSD1, PSD1, tick, right? Yes, you're having two sides there. So that would give you PSD. T one tick tick hand tree we already done that e car we already done that not one 
There is no, so no. So we already done that now. PSC one we already checked. SMA one. There is no. Okay. So you get the rationale here. We only look for two fragment size, giving you the unique two fragments that can be matched. So next question is asking you which enzymes are you gonna use to cut this specific gene so you can transfer it to this specific plasmid, okay? Let's see, so you don't, so in this case, you don't want to have a cut inside the gene because you want to have the whole portion of the gene being transferred, transformed. So let's see, Hindi, so you're not gonna use these five. All right, so you have to ignore these fives. Um, we're gonna use BAMH1. And, so BAMH1 there. Not one or damage one X one. Okay, we're gonna use these two. Next question is asking you so you want to have a wrong orientation of that gene. Okay, I mean, that's kind of weird thing to ask because you don't want to have that wrong orientation of this because you want to have a full expression of that gene. But the question is asking you, you want to have a wrong orientation. So if you want to have a wrong orientation, you need to have this blunt end. By blunt end, you have a 50-50% chance of the orientation of that two sides on the gene hence giving you the wrong orientation of the gene. So you want to make sure that you have a, you have a, um, the blunt end. So the very good way of doing a wrong blunt end is using enzyme T4 DNA polymerase. It has five to three polymerase activity, meaning it can do DNA replication, add the more DNA nucleotides, and it has three to five exonuclease activity, meaning it can degrade the nucleotides from there. So it means they can form, it can essentially form us from here. Let me show you, let me show you from here. Um, so it can form us using DNA polymerase using its polymerase activity, it can fill up this filaments there, okay? Or it can, for example, using its activity from the exonuclease activity, it can cut this, make it blunt, okay? So it will use it blunt, so it still can use the same enzymes, I'm gonna say, using this T4 DNA polymerase. So I'm gonna say BAMH1 and XO1, or oh. Not fine. Okay. Make sure you specify that. Okay. But still, you can go over and find if there is a site, these four sites in these sites, and there you can go with this one as well. Up to you. But here I just gone, which is easier. Now, lastly, it says what controls would you use? How would you screen for successful successful clones? So you transfer you transfer this gene into this one. How you want? How can you be sure? that this is the plasmid that contains this gene. So there's a couple of things we can do. For example, you can have the ampicillin, ampicillin containing here, right? You can see the ampicillin that in plate that is already being plated on the agar plate that would select for only plasmids like this that contain the ampicillin. Okay, you can, you can for example say that. Or, let me make it clear. Or you could also, for example, there's one important because while you're doing the glycogen, while you already have that, you want to transfer it to there. While you're doing this one, you can already make a control that you already all have this being open with the same enzyme, but this time you're not going to add this gene inside this one. So there is a control 
we, we call it as a background as a background this this ensures relegation so you would play this into another separate play and in that one you don't have to you don't you, you must not you should not expect a lot of colonies because if there is a lot of colonies it means there was a self ligation of this so if you open it up with the research and the nucleus look at my hand so it's open now the plasmids are subjected to the self ligation like that you don't want it to happen. So for that, you be able to count for that. So you want to have this open, but you're not going to add this any gene. And this open that doesn't have any gene has to be played on a different plate. And by doing so, you would check if there's too many colonies grown. It means you have a really poor quality of the plasmid vector, meaning that it can self like it very easily. And that's, you don't want that to happen. So that's, you can account for this as well. And while you picked up the colonies was grown colony grown in the main plate that contained the um main plate that contained the gene grown you can check mini prep like this question so after you've done that the colonies is grown for example this is the old thing um you have this you isolate that, you do alkaline lysis, grab, grab that and do restriction and then it gets enzyme with this, okay? You're gonna use the same similar thing like that. So then you will check for the mini preps and ensure, as I said, the fragments you obtain do match the this ones, right? So this is not because here is for this one, but here you, you're gonna find the enzymes that similar to this give you two sites, but for this, this one, and by doing so, you would ensure the fact that you're getting the right fragment. So I hope this made sense, guys. Please ask me any question you have in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.